This right here is what's called a hero shot. And in this video, I wanna explain why hero shots are so important for your videos and go through some different tactics on how you can shoot hero shots when you're out crafting your story. All right, let's get into it. So first let's go through what is a hero shot. And this is something that's used when you're working with people. So if you're filming a project and you have someone in your video, oftentimes you'll wanna capture some hero shots of that character because there's different moments in your edit where it will become super useful to have one of these shots. And essentially a hero shot is capturing that character in their environment and it's the moment where you really just focus in visually on the character. And so this is an important thing for visual storytelling. And the whole idea is that you're creating emphasis around this person. And so for me, when I'm shooting documentaries or my vlogumentaries and they involve a person, I use this when I'm talking about that character. Whether it's in voiceover or something that happens while I'm out filming, this is a moment where I can pause and really just focus in on that character and really get a sense of who they are visually. And the reason that it's called a hero shot is because you're displaying that character in a super strong form. Your attention is completely on them with whatever's going around and they are becoming the hero of the story through this focus and the movement that you're doing with the camera. So when I went up to Alaska and did a video about a mountain man that I went hiking with, I used the hero shot when I start talking about who this person is. And I used the hero moments to set up this interesting character in this wild environment. This is Mike, and he's what you would call a mountain man. And these are people who spend their lives exploring the wilderness. The term was first coined in the and when I went to India and shot a documentary, we captured a lot of hero moments of one of the main characters, Raja, because he's one of the key figures that's helping these families that are living in the trash dump. And there's definitely moments throughout that piece where we wanna show Raja in this heroic moment because we're talking about him and his story. I am Raja Kumar Undutti. I was born in Islam. I had gone through so much struggles. In India, we are from the caste called Dalit and Untouchables. So let's go over how you actually capture hero shots and some different things to think about to change it up. Now you could either shoot this handheld or you could put it on something like a gimbal or even use like a drone. So there's three different ways that I typically capture these hero shots. Now the first is no movement at all. So this could either be done on a tripod where you're completely locked off or you could do it handheld depending on the type of video that you're creating. But your character is just gonna be in the environment and the camera is not moving at all. The second way to do it is a punch in or a zoom in. So this is where you're moving closer to the subject. Whether you're physically moving the camera forward or you're zooming in on that character, you're starting with a wide shot and then coming in close on the character or characters in this example because I'm talking about more than one person in this moment and we're doing a hero shot of the group. And the third way that I really like to do these hero shots is in orbit. And so that's where you keep your distance between you and your subject and you're moving in a circle. And when you shoot up on a character, so say you're a little bit lower than eye level, it's gonna give you a much stronger feeling because the dominance of that character in the frame. So a lot of times when you're doing a hero shot, you either wanna be eye level or just a little bit under eye level to give them that more powerful stance. Now one thing that you might wanna think about is adding slow motion to these shots because when you shoot something in real time, it feels natural and it feels normal. However, if you shoot something in slow motion, it's gonna give it more of that dreamy kind of epic quality. And the slower that you shoot is gonna give you more of this effect. So a lot of times shooting in 120 frames per second is gonna give you a much different looking hero shot than if you were to shoot it at real time footage, whether you're shooting 24 or 30. It's just gonna make your character stand out that much more when you're shooting in these slower frame rates. Now the last thing that you wanna think about is what the person is doing. There's three different things that I ask the person to do when I'm creating these shots. The first is to just look directly at camera. When you break that fourth wall and you're looking at the audience on the other side of the camera, there's that direct connection. I mean, this is why YouTube is so powerful. Like we're having a conversation right now where I'm talking directly to you. But if you're doing say a documentary and the person's kind of looking off camera for most of the project, they're looking off to the side when they're doing the interview and you're just kind of capturing them doing the different things that they do throughout the story. Then when you break that fourth wall and they turn and look at camera, it's gonna have a much bigger impact, especially for these hero moments. 
Now the second way that you can do it is have the character look off screen, and then as you're punching in, the character then turns and looks directly into camera. They could be looking down and then looking up, looking off to the side, looking forward, but it's just that movement of the character turning and then looking directly at you, the viewer. Now the fourth way is just have the character look off, whether it's off to the side, completely behind the other direction, just not looking at the camera itself. And these are used if you really wanna show the character in their environment and just like a moment of stillness for that character. So depending on what you're filming, you might wanna have these moments where the character's looking directly at you, but there's also times where you'll want the character looking off camera, which is a great shot for like an introspective moment within the piece. So when I'm out filming, I try to film both styles of hero shots because they'll be used in different moments throughout the video. And the last thing that we need to talk about is how you actually capture these in a run and gun documentary style of shooting. Because if you just wait for the character to be in the perfect position to capture a hero shot, it doesn't always work out. So oftentimes these are staged to a degree. You'll grab the character and ask them to do this shot instead of just trying to capture it in the moment. You can see from this shot here, I'm doing this orbit around my main character in this piece I did up in Alaska. And while we we're out in the hike in this Alaskan wilderness, I asked him if I could grab a few shots of just him standing there. And he found it awkward because he's not used to being on camera. And I asked him just to look directly at camera and I'm just gonna move around a few different ways. And so I did this shot a few times and then I asked my buddy Jake to jump in because part of the story is talking about Jake and his father. So I could do the same type of shot and get another hero shot with the two of them. And when you do these, you just wanna find a good location that isolates the subject within the scene or the way that you have the lighting hitting that character and then you'll just ask them to stand there and do whatever motion that you want whether it's looking directly at camera looking away and then turning to camera or like looking off and at first it might seem awkward especially working with someone who's not used to this but one thing that you can do is turn around the camera after you shoot it and show them their shot show them this hero shot of how they look in the scene and a lot of times just that quick action of showing them the shot will give them an understanding of what you're doing and then if you need to do it a few more times, they'll be more responsive and they'll be more willing to work with you and they'll follow your direction so you can get the shot exactly how you need to show this heroic pose. So whenever you're shooting content with another person, just always remember to grab a few hero shots because they become super useful in the edit. Now next, make sure you check out this video right here which is a complete behind the scenes of how I shot a documentary when I was in India. I'll see you over there.